Get ready. Start. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, at the outset, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to you for having given me an opportunity to participate in this discussion on the demands for grants of the Ministry of Agriculture. Sir, this government is going to complete its two years term on 19th June 2013. In the last two years, I have been closely watching how this government is taking keen interest to help this unorganized sector. This is the major rural sector comprising about 70% of the population but in all the three budgets which they have presented before this house, I am sorry to say the government has not shown any keen interest in the first budget. We demanded the government to agree to constitute a committee to go into pricing policy of fertilizers. Ultimately, a portion of the recommendations of the Joint Parliamentary Committee which suited the government was accepted and the fertilizer decontrol was done. Now, I would like to say how this government has taken a clause attitude towards the farming community. In the last budget, various concessions were given only to the affluent sections of the society and not to the farming community, except a reduction of the excess duty on the tractors which are above 1800 cc and the tractors which are below 1800 cc have not been touched. Of course, the Honorable Finance Minister, while replying to the general discussion on the budget, had said that the Prime Minister is considering to give certain concessions as far as the fertilizer prices are concerned. All of a sudden, what made the government to reconsider the question of reducing the prices of fertilizers to give some concessions? It is because all these friends who have got various political ideologies have shown their bit of mind and said that this time they are going to move a cut motion to see that the government agrees to reduce the fertilizer prices. So, now at this stage, I would like to make an appeal to all sections of the house, irrespective of the political parties and to such of those members who are really interested in uplifting the farming community to forget the party alliance. At the time of voting, every one of the ruling party members is also equally interested to see that his farming community is given its proper and due share. The central government claims to have removed all shackles through the new economic policy, market economy, liberalization, delicensing, amendment to the MRTP Act, etc. But they have done it only for the industrial sector. Some of those people have been really enjoying the benefit of the last 12 five-year plans for the last 66 years after independence. But all these structural reforms or the economic reforms or the export policy changes or whatever they may be, they are only having an eye towards those people and these changes have been made for those people. I would like to ask this government 
what are the types of structural reforms they have thought over for the farming community you are amending the mrtp act the industrialists can make any amount of investment the industrialist can make any amount of profit so there is no restriction for these people unfortunately for the people who came from the rural areas or the people who are actually the tillers of the soil they have got all restrictions they cannot hold land more than 10 acres or wet whatever it may be land reforms act has been implemented and in some states there may be a little bit of lapses i do not want to enter into that controversy at this stage there is no ceiling on income so far as these oppressed sections are concerned there is no ceiling on income as well as no ceiling on urban land or the urban property but you have enforced ceiling on agricultural property because they are not the organized people about lending also i would like to make a mention farmers have to go from pillar to post various types of financial institutions have been created for financing the farmers but to what extent are we going to give the financial assistance we have included the agricultural sector as a priority sector only 15% of the bank deposit is going towards the farming community the agricultural sector contributes about 32% of the gdp whereas the loan or the bank advance is only 15% for this so called priority sector so far as industrial sector is concerned it comprises only 18% of the population and their contribution in terms of gdp is hardly 26% they get about 40% of the bank loan again even to get this 15% loan the farmer has to go to land development bank central cooperative bank rural cooperative bank commercial bank and so on full stop